Have you ever wondered how data moves around in your computer's memory? The MOV instruction in assembly language has a crucial role in this process. Picture this. The MOV instruction is like a diligent courier, constantly on the move, transferring data from one location to another within the complex labyrinth of your computer's memory. It's a fundamental component of many assembly and machine language instruction sets. What's interesting is that this instruction is not just a one-trick pony. It's incredibly versatile, capable of handling different types of data transfers. We're talking about register to register, immediate to register, register to memory, and memory to register transfers. Each type of transfer has its unique purpose, but they all revolve around the same core principle, moving data to where it's needed. As we proceed, you'll see just how essential this instruction is to the functioning of your computer. So let's delve deeper into the versatile world of the MOV instruction. First, we have the register to register transfer. This type of transfer is a fundamental operation within the world of assembly language. In essence, it's about copying data from one register to another within the computer's memory. Now, let's take a look at an example to see this in action. We're going to use the MOV instruction, which stands for MOVE. In this context, MOVE is a bit of a misnomer as it's more of a copy operation. We'll use the MOV instruction to copy data from one register, BX, to another register, AX. In assembly language, this is written as MOV AX BX. Here's what happens when this instruction is executed. The contents of the source register, that's BX in our example, are copied into the destination register, which in this case is AX. What's really happening behind the scenes? Well, the computer reads this instruction and copies the contents of the BX register into the AX register. It's as simple as that. The original data in the BX register remains intact. It's a straight copy, not a cut and paste operation. So what's the takeaway here? The MOV instruction is a powerful tool in assembly language, enabling us to manipulate and move data around within the computer's memory with precision and control. And in the case of the register to register transfer, it's all about copying data from one register to another. That's how data gets copied from one register to another using the MOV instruction. Next up, we have the immediate to register transfer. This type of transfer operation is a bit different from the register to register transfer we talked about earlier. Instead of moving data from one register to another, the immediate to register transfer allows you to directly load an immediate value into a register. Now, what is an immediate value you may ask? Well, it's simply a value that is embedded directly in the instruction itself, rather than being stored in a register or memory location. Let's take a look at an example. Picture this line of code. Movi CX 100. Here, CX is our destination register and 100 is our immediate value. So what's happening in this line of code? Basically, the MOV instruction is copying the immediate value, which is 100 in this case, directly into the CX register. It's as straightforward as that. One of the main benefits of immediate to register transfers is that they allow you to quickly initialize or modify the contents of a register without needing to access memory or another register. This can be particularly useful in situations where speed is crucial or when you need to set a register to a specific value right at the start of a program. So that's how immediate values get moved to a register. It's a simple yet powerful tool in the assembly language instruction set and one that you'll find yourself using quite often in your programming journey. Let's now explore register to memory and memory to register transfers. To kick things off, let's dive into register to memory transfers. This type of transfer allows us to move data from a register to a specific location in the memory. Remember, the memory is where the computer stores all the data it's currently working with. Imagine it like a vast library, and the registers are the librarians, moving books in and out. The syntax for this operation is straightforward. MOV followed by the destination memory location in square brackets, and then the source register. Here's a practical example. MOV AX. What this does is simple. It copies the contents of the AX register to the memory location 1000. Now let's flip the script and talk about memory to register transfers. As you might guess, this operation does the exact opposite. It moves data from a memory location to a register. It's like our librarian has fetched a book from the library and is now putting it on a desk for immediate use. The syntax here is similar but slightly different. MOV followed by the destination register and then the source memory location in square brackets. An example of this would be MOVDX. 
Here, we're taking the data from memory location 2000 and moving it into the DX register. In both cases, the MOV instruction is doing the heavy lifting. It's the workhorse, facilitating the movement of data between the registers and the memory. It may seem like a simple operation, but in the grand scheme of things, it's an essential part of how computers process data. So, to sum it up, register to memory transfers move data from a register to a memory location, while memory to register transfers do the opposite. Both are accomplished using the versatile MOV instruction, providing a direct and efficient way to handle data within the computer. And that's how the MOV instruction facilitates data transfers between registers and memory. Finally, let's look at segment register to register and immediate to memory transfers. In the realm of assembly language, segment register to register transfers are a crucial part of the data movement process. Here, the MOV instruction is employed to copy data from one segment register to another. The syntax for this type of transfer is MOV destination underscore segment underscore register source underscore segment underscore register. Let's exemplify this with a practical example. Suppose we want to copy the contents of the segment register ES to the segment register DS. We'd use the command MOV DS ES. Here, MOV is the instruction. DS is the destination segment register, and ES is the source segment register. This command will effectively copy the contents of ES into DS. Turning our attention now to immediate to memory transfers, another vital type of data transfer. Immediate to memory transfers involve copying an immediate value, which is a constant value that's directly specified in the instruction to a memory location. The syntax for this kind of transfer is MOV immediate underscore value. Again, let's take an illustrative example. Let's say we want to copy the immediate value 42 to the memory location 3000. Our command would be MOVA42. Here, MOVA is the instruction, is the destination memory location, and 42E is the immediate value. This command will copy the value 42 directly into the memory location 3000. So, in both these types of transfers, the MOV instruction is at the heart of the action, facilitating the movement of data either between segment registers or from an immediate value to a specific memory location. These operations, while simple on the surface, are fundamental building blocks in the world of assembly language programming. That's how the MOV instruction handles these types of data transfers. So, we've covered the different types of data transfers using the MOV instruction. Let's take a quick jog down memory lane to reinforce what we've learned today. First, we delved into the register to register transfer, where we saw how the contents of one register can be copied to another. This is incredibly handy when you need to manipulate data without altering the original source. Next, we explored the immediate to register transfer. This is used when you need to directly input a value into a register. It's as simple as telling the computer, hey, put this number in this place. Then we moved on to register to memory and memory to register transfers. These are your go-to instructions when you need to interact with your computer's memory. Whether you're storing the result of a calculation for later use or retrieving data you've stored previously, these transfers have got you covered. We also discussed segment register to register transfer. This is a more advanced operation that allows data to be moved between different segments of memory. It's like having different compartments in a drawer each holding different types of data. Finally, we looked at the immediate to memory transfer. This allows you to directly store a value in a specific memory location. It's like telling your computer, save this number here, I'll need it later. Each of these different types of MOV instructions serves a unique purpose, and together they provide a powerful toolkit for manipulating data at a low level. Whether you're writing a complex program or performing simple calculations, the MOV instruction is your reliable companion. Remember, the MOV instruction is a fundamental building block for most assembly language programs. Master it, and you've got a key piece of the puzzle in understanding how your computer works at its most basic level.